Hi, I'm sure you are going to love this question. The question is, arrange the numbers 1 to 15 so that the sum of two adjacent numbers is always a square number. Please note that the square number we get after adding two adjacent numbers may repeat. It can be done quite easily with a method compared to when done by randomly guessing. Do pause the video to think of the solution. I'll lead you towards the answer. So the idea here is to use a method so that we do not get stuck as we progress. Let's try and find out the largest and the smallest square number possible. So, the two largest numbers here are 15 and 14. They, when added, give 29. Because the square number is smaller than 29 is 25, the largest square number we'll be getting is 25. Similarly, the smallest number here are 1 and 2. They, when added, give 3. The square number bigger than 3 is 4. So, the smallest square number possible here is 4. Now, let's first find out which square numbers are each of these numbers from 1 to 5 capable of forming. Or in other words, let's break down the square numbers 4, 9, 16 and 25 into two numbers which when added give these. Watch till the end to acknowledge how efficient this method is. So, for 4, it can be 1 and 3. For 9, it can be 1 and 8. 2 and 7, 3 and 6, and 4 and 5. For 16, it can be 1 and 15, 2 and 14, 3 and 13, 4 and 12, 5 and 11, 6 and 10, and 7 and 9. And for 25, it can be 15 and 10, 14 and 11, and 13 and 12. Now, our main task here is to recognize which number to start with. Let's look onto the pairs. All numbers except 8 and 9 show up more than once in the list. That means one among 8 and 9 has to start the sequence and another has to end it because they can be added to only one number which is possible only for the first and the last number in the sequence. So let's choose one. We can choose any. Just because I like 9 more than 8, I choose 9. It doesn't matter which one you choose. The result is going to be fine. Just that the sequence order will be reversed. So because 9 can only be added to 7 to make 16, next number in the sequence will be 7. Now, let's look for options for 7. The only pair remaining for 7 in the list is with 2. So let's write 2. Now, let's check out options for 2. The only pair remaining for 2 in the list is with 14. So the next number in the sequence will be 14. Now, there is only one 14 in the list. And it's paired with 11. So let's write 11 for our next number. I hope by now you have understood what actually we have been doing here. We have been writing the only possible options for a number. It's basically finding out the only number which when added to the current number will give a square number. This list is only for an ease in explaining. So moving forward we write 11, then 5, then 4, then 12, then 13 then 3 now here there are two options for 3 with 1 and with 6 let's see what happens if we go with 1 we write 1 then the options we'll have will be with 8 and with 15 with 8 we can't do because 8 has to come at last because it only has one number pairing with it so let's try to put it with 15. 
we can't put it with 15 either because if we do this another 15 will have to come at last too because then it will have only one pair that is with 10 but we already know that 8 has to come at last so we do not pair 3 with 1 but we pair it with 6 now another pair for 6 is 10 so 10 comes next then 10 is also paired with 15 so 15 comes next then 15 is paired also with 1 so 1 comes next then finally 1 is paired with 8 so 8 comes next and with this we have arranged all the numbers in the sequence now if you try adding any two neighboring numbers it is always going to be a square number Please note that the order reversed will also give the same result. Hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos. Do not forget to share with your friends and family.